Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will go through set of interview questions which would be useful if you are preparing for a Microsoft Azure Administrator or a Microsoft Azure Engineer or a Cloud Engineer role. Now what is an Azure Administrator role? The role of an Azure Administrator is crucial in managing and maintaining an organization's Azure Cloud infrastructure. This role involves various responsibilities related to configuring, monitoring, and securing Azure resources to ensure optimal performance and availability. The Azure Administrator typically works as part of an IT or a cloud operations team, supporting developers, architects, and other IT professionals in developing and managing cloud infrastructure. Now, what kind of questions we can expect from an interviewer? So starting with, there would be few general questions and then it would be technical. Then there would be scenario based questions, advanced questions, best practice questions, behavioral questions. Now, let's start with few of general questions. The first question, what experience do you have with Azure or Microsoft Azure? In the response, I have over three years of experience working with Microsoft Azure during which I have managed virtual machines, configured virtual networks, set up Azure Intra ID, which is Azure Active Directory, and deployed various Azure services. I have also worked on migrating on-premises application to Azure and optimizing cloud resources for better performance and cost efficiency. This is a model response. Please tweak it based on your actual experience uh, with Azure and add more about your experience or your relevant experience. Moving to the next part. Can you explain the key components of Azure? Key components of Azure includes Azure Virtual Machines for computing resource, Azure Storage for data storage solutions, Azure Virtual Network, VNet for networking, Azure Intra ID, Azure Active Directory for identity and access management, and Azure App Services for deploying and managing applications. Other essential services include Azure SQL Database, Azure Kubernetes Services, AKS, and Azure Functions for serverless computing. Now let's move to technical questions. Explain the difference between Azure Virtual Machines and Azure App Services. Azure Virtual Machine provide infrastructure as a service, IaaS, offering complete control over the OS, virtual machines, configuration, and installed software. Azure App Service, on the other hand, provides platform as a service, known as PaaS PaaS, which abstract much of the infrastructure management allowing developers to focus on the application's code. App services are idle for web and mobile applications where scaling and managing the underlying infrastructure is handled by Azure. How do you configure and manage Azure Virtual Networks, VNets? To configure and manage Azure VNets, you first create a VNet in Azure portal specifying the address space and subnet. You can then add resources like VMs to this subnets, network security groups, NSGs can be used to control inbound and outbound traffic. For connectivity, you can set up VPN gateways or use Azure Express Route for private connections. Monitoring and troubleshooting can be done using Network Watcher and other diagnostic tools provided by Azure. Moving to the next one. What is Azure Intra ID Active Directory and how do you use it? Azure Intra ID is, was previously known as Azure Active Directory. Azure Intra ID, Azure AD is a cloud based identity and access management service. It helps employees signing in and access resources such as Microsoft 365, the Azure portal, and thousands of other SaaS applications. It provides features like single sign on, SSO, multi factor authentication, MFA, conditional access, and identity protection. 
as your intra id also integrates with on premises active directory allowing for hybrid identity management now we'll move to few scenario based questions can you describe a time where you had to troubleshoot a complex issue in azure in one instance we had an application experiencing intermediate connectivity issue with azure sql database i use azure monitor and application insight to gather logs and metrics which pointed to sporadic network latency issue i further use network watcher to analyze network traffic and identify the problems root cause by working closely with azure support team we discovered it was related to a misconfigured network security group rule adjusting the nsg resolved the issue and we implemented additional monitoring to prevent or reoccurrence now moving to advanced question what is azure kubernetes services aks and how do we deploy it azure kubernetes services aks is a managed kubernetes service that simplifies deploying managing and operating kubernetes cluster to deploy aks you can use the azure portal cli and powershell the process involves creating an aks cluster specifying node configurations and configuring networking after deploying you can use qub eclt to manage the clusters deploy applications and scale them as needed aks handles critical tasks such as health monitoring and maintenance simplifying the management of containerized application the next question how do you use azure monitor and azure security center for monitoring and security azure monitor provides comprehensive monitoring capabilities for collecting analyzing and acting on telemetry from your azure environment it includes features like metrics logs and alerts as your security center enhance security by providing unified security management and advanced threat protection it continuously assess the security posture recommends best practices and offers integrated security solutions such as just in time vm access and adaptive application control together these tools helps ensure that your azure resources are secure and performing optimally now the next one what is azure cost my cost management and how do you use it to optimize expenses cost management cost has been a very crucial part of an azure administrator because uh, it all it all comes to what we pay for the services we use so understanding cost and saving cost is very important so the response would be azure cost management helps monitor allocates and optimize cloud spending it provides tools to analyze cost set budgets and create alerts by regularly reviewing the cost reports identifying underutilized resources and resizing or deallocating them you can significantly reduce expenses additionally leveraging reserved instances and azure hybrid benefits can offer substantial cost saving for precedence stable workload now best practice questions what best practices do you follow for managing and securing azure infrastructures best practices include implementing role based access control rbac to limit permissions enabling multi factor authentication mfa for all accounts and using azure policies to enforce compliance regularly reviewing access log and audit trails help detect unauthorized activities encrypting data at rest and in transit using managed identities for azure resources and regularly updating and patching systems are also crucial for maintaining security behavior question describe a time when you had to learn a new azure feature or service quickly when azure introduced azure sentinel microsoft cloud native 
SIEM SIEM solution. I needed to implement it quickly for a client. I started by going through the official documentation and Microsoft Learn modules. I also participated in webinars and community forums to understand best practices and common pitfall falls. Within a week, I successfully deployed Azure Sentinel configured data connections and set up initial security alerts, ensuring the client security monitoring was significantly enhanced. Thank you for watching this. Hope this has been useful. See you again in the next video.